Well, the Wakulla County Sheriff issued an evacuation notice for those living in the low-lying parts of the county. Many decided to weather the storm. WTXL ABC 27's Jada Williams is live in St. Mark's. And Jada, how are the conditions currently? The wind has picked up and rain is starting to fall and I am actually right here at the St. Mark's Post Office. Now to put things into perspective for you, the St. Mark's Post Office was saw a lot of flooding in Hurricane Dennis. Hurricane Dennis is the worst storm that many people living here in St. Mark's can remember. That happened in 2005 and the flooding came all the way up here. I'm going to get my cameraman to pan down there and it came from the river so you can see how far that river water moved all the way up here to the post office in St. Mark's. Now, people are saying that the, uh, the Hurricane Michael will be worse than Hurricane Dennis. But some of those people living here in St. Mark's decided that regardless of how bad the storm is projected to be, they want to stay home. Heavy rains, strong wind, even flooded roadways. You've got to either hang tough or just go, God, I wish I'd have left when I had time, <laughs> you know, but we try to hang. Something many in St. Mark's are choosing to do. The ones that left, you know, I'm glad they did. And the one that stayed, you know, they got to keep an eye on all their stuff. I'm glad they're staying because I'm not the only dumb one. For many, the decision to stay boiled down to protecting their businesses, like Andy Lynn. So just protect our interest here, you know, uh, keep eye on everything, and, uh, make their stuff stay safe. Many in the area are reminded of one of the worst storms to ever hit St. Mark's, Hurricane Dennis back in 2005. That was rough. That was a lot of water. One key difference for the Lynn family is the time of the year that a hurricane comes. The season to put out crab traps was October 5th. The season runs from October to May. And Dennis hit, as you know, in uh, July. So therefore, our traps wasn't out, so we didn't lose on that end. It was mainly high water damage uh, that we uh, suffered near Dennis. But despite what residents have already seen from Hurricane Michael and memories of Hurricane Dennis, those who are sticking around are hopeful. When you live this close to the water, you learn to endure with it. You learn to endure. That's about it. That's all you can do. Well, hopefully those guys are safe. And Jada, are local deputies helping people out in that area? Stephanie, there were deputies that pro were patrolling this area a little bit um, behind me down the way, and actually they ended up getting a call, and many of the ones that were here in St. Mark's actually were sent to Panacea. Now, I did inquire about uh, why they were sent to Panacea. Couldn't really get um, much of a direct answer, but we will continue to figure out what's going on there as well. But as far as people staying safe here in St. Mark's, the deputies have been patrolling this area as well. Back to you, Stephanie.